Hey there, we're E Squared Photography. I'm Erin. I'm Emily. And we are here to talk about how you go about narrowing it down to three to four outfit choices for your senior pictures because we know sometimes it can be difficult for people. The first tip we're going to give you when helping narrow down your outfits is to allow your mom or your sister or someone to pick out one of your outfits or at least have some say in that outfit. A lot of moms say when they get to the session, like, I really wanted them to wear this, but they wouldn't. And then some, we've had a couple um, seniors say that they do let their mom pick out at least one of the outfits to make mom happy because she's the one probably paying for it and probably paying for the prints that are going to be hung up in her home. So we um, think that's a good idea to let mom or somebody else help and you pick And sometimes one. they're the ones that are truly honest with you and tell you, hey, this color is your color or hey, this is the right style or fit of dress or whatever it might be for you. Yes. Another tip to narrow down is pick one outfit, just one of your outfits, unless you're totally want more than one just like this, you are going to fancy it up a little bit. So always like wearing a dress, long, short, whatever it might be, is usually very flattering on females. Um, as far as guys go, dressing it up just means possibly wearing a suit and tie. We've seen quite a few senior guys do this lately, and we love the end results with that. So dress shoes, shirt and tie, maybe just a dress shirt, a jacket sometimes looks really awesome. So just picking one outfit to dress up a little bit. And plus, that's kind of fun. The next piece of advice that we could offer you is to do something trendy. You get up to four outfits, so you could have one of them be a little bit more fun and trendy, like a... Um, t-shirt with a fun logo on it, um, maybe where you're going to college, something unique, something that's really in at the time that's kind of fun to look back on. Um, so think about that. Do something a little bit out there and fun. Adding a scrunchie, you know, any of those little trends that are going on right now because it'll be fun to look back at your senior pictures and say, oh, I remember that was the style. What were we thinking? Like I How remember when we wore turtlenecks for our senior pictures. Yeah, they're coming back. Um, anyway, oh, I remember when you wore one yesterday. So, um, you know, in, in something that your mom or your sister or someone might say to you is, you know, stay timeless. All your photos should be timeless. They should be traditional, very basic patterns, which is, which is semi true. And we do believe that, but maybe pick one outfit. If you're trying to narrow it down and have a little variety in your session, pick one outfit to kind of have fun with and, uh, something that's trendy. It'll be fun to look back on. All right, the last piece of advice when narrowing down your outfits for your senior session would just be to be you. So pick an outfit or a color or a style that is totally you. It describes you. You wear it all the time. It could be something no old. It could be something new that maybe you're going to take off to college or whatever it might be. Treat yourself a little bit if you want. You don't have to. Um, but something that will just describe you. And this is sometimes where sports come in. Could potentially be, you know, a sport jersey or, you know, a sweatshirt with your school logo or something like that on it. So, all right. I hope that those pieces of advice are helpful for you in narrowing it down for what to wear or help you build up what to wear um, so you feel ready for your senior session.